morning. Good morning. It's the last full day. Day 12. 12. <laughs> Not 11. We are heading over to Epcot this morning. We've got a Guardian's return time. And I'm sure it's exactly the same as the boarding group we had last time. It's 4 to 6. And old Speedy Thumbs got it this morning again. That's so me. we've had what? Like six virtual queues? And I think you've got five of them. Yeah. Um, other than that, the only other thing that we need to do is soar in and you want to meet Aurora. So she's in her pink outfit today. I don't know if that's... Is that related? Yes. Oh yeah, you've got your pink Aurora got bag got Aurora on as well. Bag on. So yeah, it's going to be probably a shortish visit to Epcot this morning. We both only slept for about six hours because we got back so late last night. Um, so I think we're both going to be up for a nap later. Hopefully by the pool. Yeah. And we've got mini golf. Oh yeah. Beforehand. Oh my god, we must not forget. We must not forget because this is literally our last chance now. And we keep saying we'll do it, we'll do it, and we just keep not. Yeah. And then this evening we're at Disney Springs to spend a, few, a bit of money on our gift card. And then we're going to see Cirque du Soleil. So that is very exciting. We fortunately got free tickets to that with our package. So yeah, looking forward to another good day. Up, up and away. Oh, it's cold this morning. It's only like 20 degrees. Oh, I'm cold. I'm cold. I've got goosebumps. are heading for Soarin' because that is our pretty much our only priority today. I have to say Epcot first thing in the morning seems to be the way to go because the wait times have just been ridiculous this whole trip. Please can we all appreciate that Natalie just said my bay doesn't start meeting until 10. There's a Mickey head in the flowers. First time in a long time we're going left instead of right. Yeah we're going to the land aren't we? I said this the other day but this construction wall is um, the style of my corkscrew that I bought from the outlet. There's a little spoiler for you, I am going to do a separate haul video at the end of this series so keep an eye out for that. and it's our last full day. That is crazy. <laughs> I like doing soaring more than once normally, but we're just not gonna get the chance. I like doing a lot of rides more than once, but we just have not had the chance. Yeah, exactly. This is the downside of not having free fast pass anymore and not wanting to pay for GD Plus every day. We asked if we could wait for row B and now there's nobody else in here. <laughs> We're off soaring, finally managed to get on, Yay. and um, the lovely cast members let us wait for B. That's a top tip if you haven't been here before, wait for B, because if you don't, everything's a little bit <laughs> distorted. <laughs> Curved, yeah. 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 Um, so, I don't know what we're doing now, because Natalie wants to meet Aurora soon. Do you yeah, but I'm happy to go to Kesha Pass. Okay, it's only like 30 minutes, so. Yeah, so, we're gonna make the most of that and hope it may even be a little bit less, but we'll see. I think this is more on a journey of water, as I said the other day, but we're here to see Woody and Bo Peep. Natalie wants to take a quick picture. Lovely. So it's a cool crossing, and then that one says, stop for refreshment. Well, don't know why they've got these planters out again. This refreshment post one has been shut for a while, refreshment station. But yeah, it had planters in front of it the other day as well. And our beloved brunch cot, not yet open because it's about half nine. And if you can't tell from the sound, we're at test track. 20 minutes test track, it's about half nine, so obviously this is the time to do it. Everywhere. We're off, my hair looks big now. <laughs> um, that was like probably a 10 minute wait, if that. And now we're just gonna head to Starbucks for a little drink and snack before we hopefully get called for Guardians. Oh, my tag's hanging out. Tuck that in. <laughs> Starbucks is. Um, this is directly opposite the entrance to Test Track. This is Connections Eatery. So it's in the same building, it's just on the other side. And then Guardians is right there by the splash pad. So you just go into Connections Eatery and then just follow it around basically until you find the massive line, which is going to be Starbucks probably. <laughs> So 
this has kind of become our favourite area to sit in uh, the Starbucks. You can see there's like nobody here. Um, we are just looking over the creation shop there and I have got a chocolatey chip creme and a ham and Swiss croissant. This is the same croissant as I had the other day and it was really good so yeah. I probably should have got a smaller size of the drinks, it's going to take me forever to drink. And also I don't like the whipped cream, but hopefully it'll be good. And Natalie's got a caramel, caramel ribbon crunch. Oh, crunch, crunch sorry. Chino. There you go. We moved outside to have our Starbuckses. I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but um, yeah. And then our group was just called while Natalie was looking at her phone. So very well timed, it's about 10 to 11 and we're boarding group 46. And then we're hoping that Natalie's going to get time to go and meet Aurora at 25 past 11. We shall see. We're off. We got, we think it was I Run. Yeah. Because, I mean, personally, that's the only one I didn't know off the list. But we were manifesting September. But no such luck. Oh. I feel like that's on the list for next time. Yeah. But to be honest, we've done quite well. We've done half of the songs, three of six. <laughs> So, and we've been lucky to have a different song every single time. Yeah, right? definitely. Although you did say, and I agreed, that if we got Everybody Wants to Rule the World again, we would be quite happy with that. I love that song so much. Um, but now we're heading into the World Showcase to meet Aurora. Hopefully. Hopefully. And then we'll um, probably head back to the hotel for a little nap. Nasa's going to lay by the pool for a bit. Yeah. And then it's Disney Springs this evening. Yeah. I just ran through Port of Entry again, but no more Epcot 40 Spirit jerseys, so it's obviously not meant to be. And Natalie's speeding up, I don't know if you can see her in her bright pink through the crowd. Um, desperate to meet Aurora, so I'm going to have to try and speed up and catch up with her, I think. The chocolate cake here sounds, sounds and smells very good. I think we've mentioned it a couple of times, but Natalie's lost quite a lot of weight in the last couple of years. And I'm talking like quite a lot of weight. And now, oh my god, she is so fast. Like, she, she, she walks, I'm like running to keep up with her. And it's uh, a new experience, but I can see her in the distance. She's just like powering on. She's obviously desperate to get to this meet and greet. I'm just having a bit more of a leisurely stroll through what I think is the most beautiful pavilion. Which I suppose is saying something considering that I live somewhere that's, not, well I don't live in a house like that obviously, but this architecture is obviously all around. I still think they should have called the Rose and Crown the Red Lion. I'm sure the Red Lion is the most popular pub name, if I'm wrong please tell me. Alice in Wonderland was just meeting at the tea garden, a bit deep in the shadows and round the corner. And then Minnie Mouse is just on the bridge here. There's a bit of a queue by the looks of it, but not massively long. There she is. And the queue is probably only, what, like 10 families long? Probably not even that. Just crossing the bridge over into France now. Another gorgeous day at Epcot. I have to say, we were a bit unlucky last week with the rain, but this week so far has been pretty good. So I'm just coming into France and I literally don't, I can't see Natalie anywhere. <laughs> She's gone that quickly um, and I don't know exactly where the meet and greet is so I might actually have to call her and say where are you? Um, but we'll have a little wander. Well I found Aurora so I'm guessing Natalie's going to be in the queue somewhere here. I'm just looking for a big flash of pink. There's Aurora, I don't know. Oh, I think she's hidden by that bush. <laughs> there she is. And I can see Natalie as well at the back of this long queue. <laughs> So we're all done with Aurora, their photos looked great, <laughs> they looked so good, but now we've come to just see Belle and the Beast quickly. It's bang on 12 o'clock. There is a very long line still for Aurora, so I don't think you needed to rush as much as you did, also, but that's she fine. Was absolutely beautiful in person. She like, was. She was beautiful. And I, do you know what I really appreciated? She like acknowledged me, even though I was just yeah. taking photos. <laughs> Every time we come down here, Natalie's like, do you want to go into World Traveller? <laughs> Hoping that I will say no. I said it in a more <laughs> way today. You did. Um, but I'm going to say... No, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said no the other day as well. Who am I? Who am I turning into? I like that there's bikes and innies over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Very cute. I really like that they've got a little Mickey Mini topiary at the International Gateway entrance. Like they acknowledge that this is a park entrance as well because before the Skyliner it never really used to be, like it was only for Yacht and Beach Club and Boardwalk people. 
I was just gonna say that was a very undramatic Epcot exit, wasn't it? Yeah. Like just said the right go now, bye. <laughs> which is Magic Kingdom tomorrow morning before we leave and that's going to be a short one as well because we're getting picked up at half past 12 from the hotel so obviously we're going to have to come back for then. So yeah, it's um, only limited part time left. I can't quite believe it to be honest. I can't either. In I've... a way it's gone really quickly and in another way it's gone really slowly. Yeah, I always say that like at the start of the holiday every day feels like it's really long and then the closer you get to the end the quicker they go which is really annoying but Natalie just mentioned that it's our last Skyliner trip and I said I feel like we haven't actually spent that much time on the Skyliner but maybe it's just because it's so quick once you're on it so bye bye Epcot you've been very good to us with Guardians but yeah. not really with anything else <laughs> The wait times have been disgusting for most of all of those. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. Back by the way, we've just been Skyliner cabin number spotting. But we are going to have a few hours of relaxing now. Hopefully a little nap because neither of us slept for very long. And then back out this afternoon to do some shopping. And so to Soleil. And so to Soleil. Hello, it's a few hours later and I am getting ready to go to Disney Springs. Natalie is still at the pool. She said she's gonna come back in about 20 minutes or so, but I'm gonna head off because I've got quite a few things that I wanna tick off at Disney Springs. So yeah, come along with me. So just to confirm, our room is there and the bus stop is here. So I'm here and the first place I'm heading to is Gideon's because I'm hoping that in the middle of the day, the queue's gonna be quite short and also Natalie doesn't want to go there. She is gonna head here, I guess in half an hour or so and we both want to do a few of the same shops so we might as well do those at the same time rather than me going to them twice when she gets here. So yeah, fingers crossed, the queue's going to be quite short. I can get around the parks really easily, like I've, I'm quite good with my bearings, but at Disney Springs there's so many little like nooks and crannies that I just get lost so easily. Um, so I've just had to double check where I'm going. Um, and hopefully, I'm gonna get there without getting lost. <laughs> I accidentally got four cookies again. <laughs> but on the plus side, I paid in cash, so I class that as being free. <laughs> Not sure where I'm gonna head next. I might go to World of Disney and just kind of scope out what's there. I'm hoping Natalie's not gonna be too much longer. I think it's about three o'clock now. But yeah, just gonna see what I'm, I might wanna spend my gift card on. I've had a slightly better idea. I'm gonna to go to the Coke store first because I'm carrying this round. I bought a top yesterday and I'm just gonna see if I can exchange it for a different color. I do like the color that I've got, but I was thinking another color might be better. So I'm just gonna see if they've got it in my size because they didn't yesterday, so fingers crossed. It's the hottest part of the day and it's so nice and cool in this covered area. And they've just installed a Disney 100 sign and if you're wondering where it is, it's just next to the orange garage. It's just over there, I don't know if you can see behind all those people. But it's also right next to the Coke store. The crowd's cleared a little bit now, so there it is. And um, by the way, they didn't have that top in a different colour, so I'm just going to stick with the colour that I've got. Natalie's also told me that she is on her way. So I'm just going to have a little slow walk back to World of Disney. I'm in World of Disney and they've got the Mickey main attraction that lounge flies for Big Thunder and for Dumbo. I'm just going to have a look at how much they are in dollars out of interest. $88. I presume that's going to be the same for both. I do like the main attraction one but I am not about to spend $88 on yet another lounge fly. Guess he's back. Did you have a nice time at the pool by the way? Thank you. Oh, it was really nice. I dozed a little bit and it was really nice and warm. Then I had oh, a good. Swim. Yeah, it was nice. Good. And we've just come out of World of Disney. I bought a couple of bits. Natalie hasn't seen anything that she really loves. So we're just continuing our quest to try and find things to spend our money on, which is definitely a luxury and a bit of a shock because I was fully expecting us to spend all that money on food. And we haven't. So yeah, it turns out that it is a good deal after all. So we're going to head and get our poutine from the daily poutine and then we're going to start heading slowly towards Cirque du Soleil and we'll just dip into any shops that we want to go to. So we've got the 
glass of Canadian poutine and I got a watermelon lemonade which I've gotten every time I've come to the Danish poutine. I think it's really good. That was so good. We're now just thinking about going to Epcot tomorrow instead of Magic Kingdom because we forgot to buy something that our mum specifically requested from the Germany Pavilion. Natalie wants some Werbers and um, she also wants some mugs that aren't in World of Disney. We've only seen them in Creation Shop, I think. And I said I like Creation Shop anyway, so I'm happy to go there to spend the last bit of my gift card. So yeah, we're just thinking about doing that at the moment. I haven't vlogged in a while because I've been uh, holding my watermelon slushy and my bags in the other hand. Um, but we've been to Goofy's Candy Company and we bought some snacks. And then we went to Disney Style. Yep. Unsuccessful. And then we went to Disney's Candy Com Company Cauldron. It's basically the same candy thing. Cold. Yeah, that one. It's the same, but it's like further down. Uh, same stuff as in the other one. And now we are just sat in the shade outside House of Blues waiting for Circus Soleil. The doors are open, but it's 10 to 5 and the show doesn't start till 5.30. So um, we're just sitting in the shade enjoying it. Waiting what to do tomorrow. Yeah, we've, um, we've actually shop we've changed our park pass from Magic Kingdom to Epcot which and normally it's our tradition to go to Magic Kingdom on the last day but we're both thinking creation shop is um, better so that's the plan at the moment and also we can get over there quicker because we can yeah. just hop on the Skyliner and we're literally on that side as well because we're Riviera so we're thinking get there early you might buy some Werther's from the German yeah. shop and you're thinking a couple of mugs from the Creation Shop. I don't know about the Werther's because I don't want proper Werther's. I like those chewy ones. But yeah. I'm thinking you can probably get those on Amazon. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, something from the case. All the all the case stuff sounds nice. Yeah. They do like um, chewy caramel covered in chocolate, which sounds nice. So I'm thinking I want to get some stuff from the case. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head over to Epcot on the final day. Who'd have thunk it? Not us. <laughs> But yeah, it should be a bit quicker than going to Magic Kingdom. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff and spend the last of our gift card, because otherwise it's just a waste, so. We've just been chatting furiously about Cirque du Soleil. We both enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really, really good. I said I thought the story was a bit loose. <laughs> but I appreciate the kind of what they were trying to do with it. And the stunts were impressive, definitely. I mean, A, the teamwork, B, the body, yeah. like the core. Oh my god, and yeah, the, the body strength. And did I just say teamwork? Yeah. It's just like. I just, I just think it's amazing. It was really good, definitely. Um, would you have paid like $75 to go and see it? Because uh, we got free tickets, I think I mentioned that with our package. The fact that you haven't said yes immediately makes me suspect it's a no. I mean, it went on for a long time. It did, yeah, it was 90 minutes. And it was, yeah, I never, I, just, I did keep thinking, shut your mouth, because I was like, quite a lot. So, yeah, I think I would actually. Yeah. Yeah, would you? Um, no. Probably not that much, but it's more your thing than mine. Yeah. Um, and also in the middle of an expensive Disney holiday. Yeah. I'm not sure that I would have spent that time doing it, but I enjoyed it. I'm glad we went. So I'm back from Disney Springs. Um, some time has passed. Basically, I got the bus back to Caribbean Beach because I decided to get some food from the food court, which I totally forgot to record for you, so I'm really sorry. I got the Kids Fish Tacos, which is actually a Disney check meal, which is a healthier meal. So that was pretty good, and um, it was okay. I think there was too much cheese or something on it, um, but overall it was pretty good. Natalie didn't want to come, so um, she just got both the bus back to Riviera as per. And as far as I know, she's gone back to the room. I don't know if she's eaten anything or not. Um, she said she was a bit hungry, but we'll see if she's eaten anything or not. I wonder what that string of lights is at the top of the Riviera. I don't think we've had a sunset skyline of cliff, so here you go. Gosh, it's so beautiful at this time, isn't it? The crickets are chirping already. Can you hear them? I just saw a couple of like, I don't know if they're hares, they're like tailless rabbits. There's one there, and there was one around here somewhere. 
just ran out in front of me. How random. 